Welcome to Movie Shortens. Follow us today to a 2012 American horror film called Dragon Wasps. Before we start, be aware, there are spoilers. As the movie begins, a guy named Jorge is leading Dr. Humphreys through the jungle when he suddenly spots a camouflage tent with a sign on it that says, Transgen Tech. Jorge stays outside and hears a buzzing noise as Dr. Humphreys enters. He starts to search and finds a folder with insect diagrams. He takes pictures and sees some jars with specimens inside. He seems shocked. Outside, Jorge is attacked by a giant wasp and carried away. Dr. Humphreys hears a cry and comes out to investigate. As he searches, another wasp descends and carries him away as well. At an archaeological site, Gina calls Lewis across to join her and Rhonda as they examine a dead bird. They tell him that a botfly laid its larvae inside its ear canal and the insect ate its way out. Lewis presents him with a bag that was washed up from the river. Gina identifies it as belonging to her father. He disappeared three months ago. The girls return to their tent and check the SD card from the camera. They look at the pictures that Dr. Humphreys took of the specimen jars. Rhonda asks what transgen tech is. Gina replies that before today, it was just one long wild goose chase. She explains that her father loved field work and used to disappear for months at a time. One night, he called her and told her that he was sorry and that he loved her. The authorities traced his call to a motel, but only found his ID badge for transgen tech. Rhonda then realizes that is why they are now here. Gina apologizes for not telling her. She explains that her father was into biogenetic engineering, and she thinks that the first step is to discover what was in that jar. She checks the geolocation tag from the picture and finds out where they were taken. It is in Cayo District where Lewis said was off limits. Regardless, they leave first thing in the morning. At a military airfield, Hammond and Myers are discussing how their tour is over. Hammond loves the jungle. The girls stop at a military blockade. A soldier tells them to turn back. Gina says that they are not going back, so he'll have to arrest them or kill them. In their cell, they are visited by Hammond and Myers. She explains that they are looking for her father. They show them the pictures that were only taken three days ago. Hammond agrees to help them. They leave in a military truck with a team of soldiers. The truck is ambushed by a group led by Jaguar and a gunfight ensues. Jaguar demands their vehicle, weapons, and women. The fight continues and the military are able to drive them back without sustaining casualties. Hammond tells the girls that they are aborting the mission, but Gina notices that something is wrong. It is really quiet, indicating that there is a large predator around. A huge swarm of wasps approaches, injuring a soldier named Ortega and taking four others away. They transport Ortega to Jaguar's village. The girls insist on taking one of the dead giant wasps with them. They go as far as they can in the truck and then continue on foot. Gina says that many insects are repelled by the smell of their own dead. The girls carry the wasp. As they approach the village, Jaguar greets them. Hammond suggests an alliance against a common enemy and presents the dead wasp. Jaguar agrees but says that there is still a debt of blood to be paid for the four men he killed. Ortega is taken inside and Jaguar starts to chant and hold his palms over his wound. He insists that the women must leave. Hammond tells Myers to use the GPS to track the other men. Jaguar uses a mixture of bones and mysterious powder to ease the pain and then feeds him a leech. Ortega passes out and Jaguar tells him that the spirits of the jungle will decide his fate. Jaguar examines the wasp and tells the girls that their peace and harmony have been disrupted by this devil bug. Legend foretold their coming, but he believes that the village is protected by the jungle. This has been brought by their people. Hammond denies this, but Gina believes that her father and transgen tech have something to do with it. Hammond tells her to find out everything she can about them as he is going to find his men. Gina doubts that they would still be alive. Myers tells Hammond that Jaguar has something planned for them later, and he reminds him that they are cannibals. Myers has discovered the GPS signals, but it is 12 clicks away through dense jungle. They'll never make it there and back before nightfall. The wasps have left the soldiers inside a cave, and a small wasp climbs inside a soldier's ear. He wakes and screams. That night, the villagers perform a song and dance ritual. The soldiers refuse the internal organs that they are offered to eat. Hammond tells them to keep their guns close. The girls are dissecting the giant wasp. It is female as only the females have stingers. They say it is a mutation and has characteristics of many kinds of insects. The insects have an inbuilt chemical which Gina calls nature's napalm. They notice that they weren't interested in the dead bodies, so they must have wanted them to stay alive. She guesses that the soldiers and her father may still be okay. Rhonda thinks that transgen tech must have something to do with the mutation. Gina tells Hammond that the best way to kill them is with a knife. He asks if he could kill them all by detonating an explosive in their hive. Gina believes so. Soon after, Jaguar offers Hammond a drink, which he says will help to protect the village. Hammond reluctantly accepts and then leaves before he passes out. 
He wakes the next morning and tells the girls that he thinks Jaguar plans to sacrifice them all. They tell him that the mysterious powder acts as a repellent to the wasps. He asks if there's a way to eliminate the effects of the mysterious powder to get them to come to the village. They say that the adrenaline glands of the wasps secrete a pheromone to attract other wasps. They extract them and leave their hut. Outside, Jaguar has four soldiers lined up. He tells Hammond that these four souls are the price for their protection. Hammond agrees but says that they are his men and no one touches them but him. He is given a knife to complete the sacrifice. Meyer is still on the perimeter and Hammond orders him to fire as he throws a knife at one of the tribal women. As he does, the four soldiers are shot and Hammond's cries in anguish. Gina takes a gun and runs to meet Hammond and Myers, but Rhonda is captured. They find an ammunition store and stock up. Myers sets up some explosives as Gina explains that the glands are already attracting the wasps. Hammond yells to Jaguar to release Rhonda or he'll blow up their village. He agrees and Rhonda is released. He tosses the glands to Jaguar and they leave. The wasps descend and the villagers shoot at them. The soldiers leave with the girls and then Hammond blows the village up anyway. A wasp descends and takes Rhonda away. The others follow, but Gina is distraught because she has already lost her father and now her best friend. Jaguar is pursuing them, but Hammond sets fire to the bridge, using some of nature's napalm to stop him. Gina offers some wild leaves to rub on their bodies to keep the wasp away from them. Hammond worries that they may absorb the mysterious powder. They continue on toward the cave. Back in the village, Jaguar gathers a team to go hunting. They are halfway there when Hammond explains to Gina how to use a gun. Gina can't decide if Hammond has an intense sadness or profound disillusionment. He tells her that it's his responsibility to retrieve his men or stay here with them. He doesn't want to leave the jungle and return home. Myers arrives to tell them that they have company. They continue and are attacked by a snake, but the soldiers deal with it quickly. They arrive at the Transgentech tent where Dr. Humphreys was three days ago. She checks the tent as Hammond tries to hurry her along. Before they leave, they rub themselves with the last of the wild leaves. The soldiers are feeling an energy boost from the leaves, but Gina zones out briefly. Jaguar reaches the transient tech tent and realizes they only left a short while ago. Myers announces that he is allergic to stings. Gina says that the majority are male drones and cannot sting, but then there is the queen. They approach the hive in the cave. They are near the soldiers, but the wasps are starting to show interest in them again. They find some of Jaguar's men. One of them wakes and a wasp burst out of his head. Gina says that they are using the bodies as hosts for their young. They find Rhonda and Gina thinks she is fine. She starts to scream and a wasp climbs out of her mouth. Gina shoots her to put her out of her misery. She continues onwards and finds her father. Hammond says that he must have one of those things in him, but Gina says his pulse is normal, unlike the others. They all leave together and find the main hive chamber. They get out the explosive, but Hammond realizes that the explosive that Gina is carrying is in fact the mysterious powder. They only have enough explosive to set off a small explosion, but they could use nature's napalm to set off a chain reaction if the wasp are close enough together. She still has one of the adrenal glands remaining to attract them all together. They can use the mysterious powder that Gina was carrying to make a paste to keep the wasp away from themselves. Jaguar and his men approach the caves. While the soldiers set the explosive, Gina's father explains to her that he thought they were only doing the theoretical research and that there would be no actual specimens grown. He believes that Transgentech has connections to the military. Hammond tells them to leave. He will make sure that the explosion happens. Hammond and Gina kiss before he orders Myers to get them out. As they leave, they hear Jaguar and his men arrive. They duck into a cave to let them pass and then carry on. Jaguar's men meet Hammond. They threaten him and he detonates the explosive, killing them all. Myers, Gina, and her father escape. Dr. Humphrey speculates that the wasp didn't want an old man. Gina wonders about Transgentech and the other stations. Maybe there are worse bugs than these. Myers says that this is classified. In the hive, another wasp burst out of the body of another of Jaguar's men. Like and subscribe to watch more videos like this. And don't forget to turn on your notifications. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.